This is Peak. It's a very popular indie game where you climb a mountain, you fall off the mountain, you scream into the void, and then you do it all over again until you reach the, well, the peak. And naturally, after seeing a cool game, I thought, I wonder how well I could make this. And to add some extra challenge, let's see if I can do it in a day. So, first things first, we need a mountain. And I thought, you know what, I have no idea how to make a mountain. So, let's ask Gemini. Plugged it into Gemini, and it spat me back out this. This majestic, beautiful looking mountain that is absolutely not what we need. Yeah, it looks good and everything, but it looks a bit too good, you know? When you look at Peak, nothing looks like this. Everything looks really bubbly and weird. It's not a proper mountain that you'd see in the normal world. You know, with proper textures, I could definitely see this being in a National Geographic documentary. You know, not, not in a janky indie game made in a day by some random dude who lives off monster energy and despair. Oh, I'm gonna crash out! And so, with a heavy heart, I scrapped it. So, I pulled a massive U-turn and went with something a bit more achievable. Cubes. Yep, I turned a bit more to my programming side and developed a generator that would stack a load of cubes on top of each other in random sizes to sort of act like a mountain. Just a bunch of cubes floating in the void, just like my hopes and dreams. So yeah, I stacked them, scattered them, tried to make them climbable, and it ended up just looking like a Minecraft fever dream, to be honest. But hey, at least it wasn't too good. The AI overlords aren't coming for me yet. And whilst this was decent and everything, unfortunately, cubes are boring, and also very weird to climb on, because you get moments like this. I think this is ass. This is complete garbage. But then, I had a genius idea. Double it, Wagwam! And because I've worked as a developer for over 50 years, I'm always right. But anyway, my idea was spheres. Smooth, beautiful, simple. And I thought, what if I took these perfect spheres and mutated them a little bit with purling noise? Now, if you don't know what purling noise is, it's this sort of black and white image that you might recognize, okay? And that's because it's a procedural generation technique that creates a grid of random gradient vectors and interpolates between them that gives this sort of smooth, continuous field of values where the darker pixels correspond to lower values and the lighter pixels correspond to higher values. So you can get nice patterns and terrain height maps like that. Now you might be asking why is this important, okay? It's because I'm going to use this purling noise height map and apply it to the sphere and what that's going to do is it's going to make it lumpy, okay? You might be asking why do you want it to be lumpy and it's because if you look at Peak it is all sort of this low poly style which is exactly what this will be good at and you'll see it right now if I just snap my fingers. There you go, the spheres now look like they've got, I don't know, bunch of tumors or something <laughs> i don't know it just works doesn't it but there you go this is our low poly monstrosity okay it's like the unity terrain generation just sort of died and never came back all right now that we've got this semi-decent looking pillar of weird spheres we need to be able to climb them a bit better than whatever was going on before oh my god bro oh, hell no man so i worked on the climbing system a little bit so it works as you hold the left mouse button just like it does in peak you can climb up any surface and i also made it so when you're climbing over these sort of jagged edges where the purling noises bump the sphere it will rotate your character to always face the walls so you can climb wherever you want upside down on top whatever and it works you know pretty good there's still like a few issues where sometimes you'll just start flying off in a random direction but we're only making this game in a day so we won't focus on that for now and now that the climbing's all good we needed a bit of stamina because well the game would be too easy otherwise so i got gemini to generate this nice little background for a stamina bar and just look how good it is it's got all the little rocks around it i thought we'd make it on theme with the sort of bouldering style that we're going for here and i made it so as you're climbing the slider will reduce as you'd expect stamina bar to do and it refills when you stop climbing so you can then recharge a little bit before you climb again perfect but always be wary because your stamina can run out as you are climbing and if that happens
All right, so now the main core of the game is sort of finished, I thought let's just add a little something extra. So there's a load of luggage items in peak as you're climbing up to sort of help you out. They contain little drops for you to sort of boost your character, give you extra stamina and whatnot. But you know, we're not going that far into it. You know, we're running short of low on time here. So instead, I thought I'd just add one thing. I found this little water jug and I'm just gonna plop that on some of the spheres. I've just written a bit of code. So when we're generating the map, it can have a random chance to generate one of these water jug things on top of it. Now, whilst they don't do anything, um, you can walk into them and they do disappear. And they also have a cool little floating animation. So yeah, jobs are good. In. Or at least I thought, because then I looked back at the map and I thought, you know what, this isn't good enough. It's just a column. It's like a pillar. It's not a mountain. So you know what? I made it chungus. That's right. Instead of just this pillar, I wanted it to branch out. I wanted it to be a collection of these units, okay? Now, whilst we do have the different colors for the different levels of height that you're at, which is very cool, the pillar was just looking a bit scrawny, okay? So I added a bit of depth to it, and this is what we ended up with. Nice. Now, I think this looks a load better, all right? We've just got this massive beast of a mountain, a collection of all these big, weird, lumpy spheres, which, you know, is exactly how I think Peak would have generated it. Obviously, there's a bit more to it, but I feel like it's just a load of random lumpy bits that are just randomly generated and stuck together, just like we've got here. Perfect! So I was happy that, you know, you can climb all the way up through the green, blue, purple, and eventually you'll reach the very top, which is the red one, which I will note doesn't always spawn above. Sometimes it spawns inside of a purple, which is quite funny, but you know, we're running out of time and all that. We're not gonna fix it. And there was only one thing left to do. Now, one of the biggest features of Peak is how goofy the characters are. So I found this goofy character pack that I'd already bought and sent it in. And we ended up with this boy. We've now got a character. And I added in some nice default Mixmo animations for him, just blended them together so we can now run, idle, and climb up, which looks really good, I think. Very happy with the way this turned out and very happy with the little game we've managed to make in one day. And then I just added a little windscreen when you got to the top. So I could say it is a playable game. All right, it's done. So, what have I learned in this one day of making peak? Well, mountains, they're not just made of polygons, they're made of pain. <laughs> and also some bugs that I will never fix. But hey, why would I fix any of the bugs if they're literally perfect? And if you can't see that they're perfect, then that's on you. Do you see my mana? What am I supposed to do for you? Anyway, all jokes aside, um, we've made this game in 24 hours and it is actually something playable, maybe even fun? Probably not, but hey, it's probably more fun playing something like this than waiting around for a certain game that's been in development for eight years that I won't mention. And if you're one of those people waiting for that game, then I pity you. But hey, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and finally, if you enjoyed this descent into another pit of madness, then give the video a like, please. If not, I'll just assume that you are uh, a loser. But yeah, please subscribe. We are inching ever closer to that 1000 mark, and I would absolutely love it if we could get there. But have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, you don't climb peak, the peak climbs you. Thanks for watching. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, does anybody need food? <laughs> Thank you. Okay.